So you've got a pretty standard product page on Squarespace. It looks nice, but you want to add a little bit more to it. Now, how do we do that? Because it doesn't look like a normal page on Squarespace. Well, the answer is we need to add blocks into our product page itself. And it's a little bit hidden in terms of how to do it. So this video is going to show you how you can add those blocks onto specific product pages on Squarespace. That was a mouthful. Anyway, let's get into it. We've got a store set up here on our website. Now, if we go into, uh, well, let's set up the product page first. So if we go into the product itself, you can see you know, it's got a template with the blocks. But first off, how do we access these blocks within a template? And then how do we add to them? So what we need to do, because it is quite hidden, as I said before, if we click on the three dots and then edit, that's gonna bring us into the product editor. Now you may think, well, I don't see anywhere for blocks. Well, that's because it's in additional info. So we click in there and you can see, I mean, it is a bit of a strange setup to be honest, but you can see that this is how it's set up. So you still have to use space blocks, which, you know, is what it is, I guess, but we wanna drag this down and that's gonna go the full length of the page. So if I click plus, actually that's not quite the full length, is it? Because it's a bit behind me. Let's try that again, shall we? Let's go the full length. There we go. Now if I want to add, let's say, a video down into here, you can do so. You got the video block. And then, you know, maybe I want to add something else. So I'll scroll down and I'll add a newsletter block underneath that. Great. I'm happy. I mean, I wouldn't be happy if this was the style, but I'm happy with the with the function. So hit save, and then let me move me over here. On our product now, you can see we scroll down. Then we've got the video. Then we've got the newsletter block, and things are going to look a little bit different from the additional info section to the the live site. So you can see that this looked completely different. That's be well. I'm not going to pretend I know why it is. Squarespace just formatted strangely in that um, in that particular instance, but it comes out normal and then you can see you, you've built out the product page. So that is how you edit or add your blocks on a Squarespace product page. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.